So you want an automated animated loading screen that looks amazing and, and shows up on every loading of levels. Let's try checking that out. So what most people try to accomplish that is that they try creating the widget, adding to the viewport, and then you will a little bit of a delay here, now, even though it's gonna make the player wait a little bit, you add this delay just so it shows up and then you try it, but it's two freezes. Uh, the loading screen shows up, but then it doesn't actually animate. The problem is when you do that, the loading of the level is going to lock the tread and it's not going to allow the widget to be animated. So you can see throws didn't show up. It's basically not working, right? So, but there's one trick which is not well documented. It wasn't a wiki before back in the day, but now it's not even showing up anymore that I can show you now. That's going to make our life much easier and it's going to work flawlessly. So it has to be done on the C++ side of things. And the first thing you've got to do is you have to include four new public dependencies on your build project. So you open Visual Studio, you go to the build.cs file and you add those four dependencies, which is the movie player, the UMG, the Slate and the Slate Core. I'm going to link those in the description. You can use them. I'm also going to link those this project in the description. So don't worry. So you add those four dependencies on the public dependency module names and you should be good to go. Let me give this a little bit of a compiling. And the next step now we got to do is overriding our main game instance. Game instance is basically the bigger, bigger class on the Unreal Engine. It's the humongous class that represents your whole game. Um, so to do so, you go to your C++ classes folder, create new C++ class, and then you select game instance as the parent class. Then let's call this my main game instance, create it. And on the main game instance, you can actually override and bind to two specific functions. One is called preload map, which is going to happen when the map's about to load. And one on the postload map that happens when the map is already finished loading. Okay. The trick here is going to, is going to be using the preload map to show our widget and then using something very specific to Unreal, very kind of unknown, which is the movie player, which you can play movies with it, but also widgets and even animated ones. And the movie player does not run on the main game thread. So you can be loading a level, play the movie player, play your widget, and it's going to play flawlessly. Let's check that out. Okay. So we got a loader here. We got our four dependencies. We got our main game instance overridden. Now, first thing you got to do, I'm going to paste it from somewhere else again. Again, I'm going to leave those in the description. So you got to override the init method. So basically this is happens when the game loads. Okay. And then we're going to use that in a second. We're also going to create two functions that we're going to use to bind to the delegates. So the first one is begin loading screen. I just named it. You can name whatever you want. And loading screen you can also name whatever you want. The only objective here is so they're avoid the return type and a const reference to an F string is the first parameter on the begin loading screen. This is the, will be the map name, which is about to load. And then the end loading screen is going to have pointers to the world in the first parameter and also return point. Okay. All right, and that's about it here. Uh, let's check the C++ side of things now. So the first function I'm going to paste is the init function. Let's try that. Um, also, before that, let's put in our dependencies. And that should be it. Okay, so this is why we actually added those dependencies in the public modules. So we need the movie player, we need these late, we need the UMG, so all those will be needed here, okay? And here is the main trick of the show. So the init, just call it super, should be good. Not a lot of secrets, just initing the game. Um, and then we have those two very amazing delegates. We have the preload map and we have the postload map with world. So the preload map is going to happen before loading the map. And then you can show your um, you know, um, widget and loading screen. And then the postload, you can do whatever you want. Not really very specific about it. We're not going to use it that much in here. So... Let's now create our begin loading screen function. There you go. Not a lot of secret to it as well. We're not even using the parameter, which is the map name, not relevant, but now we're using the movie player. And then we're going to be using, we're going to be creating a variable that is basically a bunch of attributes on how you want to play the movie. Uh, you can go through those within the doc Unreal's documentation, just inspect the code and whatnot. But here we're just going to use it, uh, autocomplete when loading completes, uh, 
I don't know, it should set this to false. I'm not sure the impact, but I've set this to false, so it must be important. Um, then you create the widget you want to display. You set the most important here, the widget loading screen. So you set this to the widget you just created. And then finally, get movie player, set up loading screen, pass in the variable. There you have it. So when we have the preload map happening, it's going to call this function. Then you're going to set up a movie player with our widget. And then it's going to be displayed as it's in the movie player thread. It's not a main game thread. So it's going to be free to display whatever you want while it loads the game in the background. Profit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to also create um, the end loading screen on the post map. Uh, you, this is useful if you want to do something after the map finishes loading. You want to do some cleanup and so on. Okay. Uh, and for instance, I don't know, this widget might be worth some cleaning up. Okay. And then the only thing missing here is on the .h, we also got to create a reference to the class of our widget. So most people will try loading the widget from the C++ by passing a path, but this is not really as classy as it could be, right? So what I do instead is I create a, ref a variable on the C++ class that is a reference to the widget class. That way we have access to the blueprint goodness, but without specifying a fixed hard path, okay? So this is not the widget. This is a reference to the class of the widget. Okay. And then we actually going to construct the widget here on the C++. All right. So I think this should be working. Let's give it a try. Let's see how that rolls. Pretty confident it will. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. Looking good so far. Finger crossed, you know, suppose plus gods may be with me. <laughs> okay, and then after we finish compiling this, we're gonna have now to create. There you go, there you have it. Easy, not even a flat. Okay, so back to a real engine. We have created our main game instance, we have hooked the right functions. We have added, we have bound um, to the correct delegates. So now what we're going to do is just specify which blueprint do I want to load? Do I want to display which widget, which animated widget do I want to display? Okay. So create a new uh, blueprint class. Uh, on all classes, just select things, the main game instance we just created. This is going to be our parent. Call it BP underscore main game instance. There you have it. If you see now on the right screen, on the right side here on the panel, you see the loading screen widget reference, and that's where we're going to select a loading screen. And the loading screen can be any widget, honestly. So in my case, I just have a spinner, text, and an image. So you just select whatever you want to be displayed on every um, level load. And so this is basically how I do it. Instead of specifying a path, I create a variable, I make it as a parameter, and then I can edit it anywhere else. So all this code is going to be linked in the description. So check it out if you're confused. Okay. So there's one thing left. If you hit play and try seeing the whole shenanigan happening, it's still not going to happen. This is because we have not overridden the game instance our game uses. So right now it's using the default game instance, which is a pre-created C++ class from the Unreal Engine source code. See, nothing, nothing happened. So it didn't work. So go to edit it, project settings, you select. You just type games to search and now you select your our BP game instance. And now Unreal is going to use our game instance as a reference. And now we should hook the delegate, call a function, get the movie player, play our widget, and it's going to be animated and automatic. And every single level load is going to be displaying loading screen. And you can even try going further. You can try displaying items and interacting with the user input. So you could have items rotating and showing up. From the game and then you can just like skyrim right you can there you go there you have it automated you click new game level is loading on the background as soon as the level finishes loading it's gonna disappear and there you have it automatic animated loading screen on a real engine 5 and 4. so i hope this is useful if you think this is useful leave a like if you have any questions leave a comment the, this project and every piece of sus code is going to be in the description below and i hope you enjoyed it have a great day